All right, I'm finally back. What is up, people of the internet? My name is Avery, and I am a third year electrical engineering student at the University of British Columbia. I'm also a commuter student as well, which means that I do have to carry a lot of stuff with me on a daily basis to and from campus. So in this video, I'm gonna go through what exactly I carry with me every day as an electrical engineering student. All right, so let's get into it. Starting with this backpack right here. This is the Herschel Little America backpack. This is the older model. I think they've updated it to some new ones, but this is the older model that I've had since I think grade 10. So for about six years now, which is crazy. But I guess it's just a testament to how much I love this backpack. I really like how it's styled. It's very comfortable. It can hold a lot of stuff. And yeah, it's just my backpack of choice for carrying all of my stuff around with me every single day. So I love this backpack, but enough about it. Let's get into what's inside. All right, undoing this flap and then opening up this drawstring. The first thing I've got in here, let's move this off to the side, is... This is my Herschel Tech Organizer. So this basically just keeps all of the charging cables and stuff like that, all of that consolidated into one very portable pouch that I can take with me everywhere and just hold all my stuff. But let's get into what's inside. So in this main pocket, first thing I have in here is my Logitech MX Anywhere 3 mouse. I also have the Master 3 mouse, which I really like for when I'm editing my videos, but I wanted something a little bit smaller for me to take to campus and the Anywhere 3 was right there. So I picked it up and I honestly love it for if I have to do a lot of stuff for with like dragging and stuff like that for my labs. So. This mouse, really like it, and it hold, and it has a little bit of a spot here in my pouch. The second thing that I got in here is just a USB-C dongle, just in case if I have to connect to like an HDMI projector to present something in class, or if I need some extra USB-A ports or an SD card reader. The next thing I've got in here is my Ugreen 100 watt USB-C power adapter. So this thing has three USB-C ports and a USB-A port, and it's just really great for charging all of my devices. I have a lot of USB-C devices. I have my laptop, my iPad, my iPhone, and a bunch of, and some other stuff as well. And if someone else needs to charge as well, this just gives a lot of flexibility for charging my devices. So I really like it. It's also very compact as well, so it can fit nicely into just a little sleeve here in my tech organizer. Speaking of the power adapter, you also need cables as well, and I certainly have a lot of them. I have three of them right here. Two of them are Ugreen, and then one of them, I forgot what the brand was, but it's a Thunderbolt 4 cable, and I'll make sure I have links in the description to everything that's in my backpack. These cables I use for, mostly, mostly for charging, but sometimes if I have like an interview and I wanna use this camera right here as my webcam, I can use one of these and it does fast data transfer. So that's what I like about them. All right, and the next thing that I've got in my tech organizer pouch in this little mesh sleeve right here is another Ugreen product. I swear this video is not sponsored by Ugreen, but I just really like their products. This is the 25,000 milliamp hour battery bank that they sell. It's 145 watts, which actually outputs more power than my power adapter, which is funny enough. But this thing, I think it holds enough charge to recharge my laptop. If I'm not near an outlet or in emergency situations, this thing can hold a lot of charge and I really like that and it can output a lot of power as well, which I also like. So I just keep it in this sleeve right over here. So that's everything in this main compartment, but there's also a little bit of a side sleeve on the front over here that I keep a few things in here as well. The first thing I keep in here is the stylus that came with my with my laptop, which we will get into in just a second. A USB-C to lightning cable, just in case if I need to charge my AirPods or if any of my friends have a lightning device, 
I can use this to help them charge it as well if they need it. And the last thing I have in here is a USB-C cable. This is a two meter long USB-C cable, just in case if my outlet is a bit further away from me, uh, this just gives the extra reach for me to be able to still charge my laptop if I need to. That's my tech organizer pouch, put that right there. The next thing that I've got in here, are my Bose QC45 headphones. I honestly didn't use these that much this semester just because I would normally use them on the bus, but I was driving a lot this semester just because of my foot injury. I'll have a separate video on that, I promise. But these, I started using them a lot more during final season when I really had to lock in for my finals, but they're comfortable, they sound good, the noise canceling is great, and they're everything that I need for a pair of good headphones. So that's why I keep them in my backpack. The next thing that I've got in my bag is my pencil case. So I mostly take my notes on my iPad Pro, which we'll get into just a second, but I also have a bullet journal as well. And in my bullet journal, I like to keep my subjects color coded. So in this pencil case, I have just a row of colored pens corresponding to each of the subjects in my bullet journal. And I also have a black pen here, a mechanical pencil, and some correction tape and an eraser just for exams. On the other side of this pocket, I keep my Texas Instruments TI-84 Plus calculator, which I used for, I think, one course this year. It was my electromagnetism course. And last three things I have in here are I have a short ruler, and I also have some graphite for my mechanical pencil, and just this little USB drive, which has a USB-A side and then also a USB-C side, which is honestly one of like, I'm surprised that this isn't more popular because it's great for if I need to, let's say, let's say I'm doing one of my ELEC 342 labs, I'm taking data and saving it onto the computers that are in the labs. I can take that data, put it onto this USB stick and then transfer it over to my laptop, which mainly has USB-C ports with just the other side of this. So I really like using it, it's very versatile. Yeah, I'm honestly surprised that not many, that more people don't have it. The next thing on here is my umbrella because I do live in Vancouver and it does rain quite a bit. But honestly, I didn't really use this that much this semester just because, well, I was in crutches for like half the semester. So you can't really hold an umbrella while you're in crutches. So my umbrella didn't really get that much use this semester, unfortunately, but I think now that I can walk now and it's probably gonna start raining more in the spring and the second half of winter, this will be a lot well, more useful in the coming months. And the next thing I got in here is my water bottle. I got a slightly different one this year compared to my previous years before I used to have like a swell water bottle, but now I finally got a hydro flask that's 24 ounces instead of 18 ounces. I really like the narrower design just so it can fit my backpack and yeah, holds a lot of water and make sure to stay hydrated everyone. The next thing we got in here is another calculator that I didn't really use all that much, but I used to use it a lot before for more for speed calculations, like if I really need to calculate something really fast. This is the Casio scientific calculator that I've had since I think high school, since like ninth or 10th grade. So I really like it, or I really liked using it when I was using it last year, but I haven't really had much use for it this year. Next thing we got in here is my lunch bag. And as always food, I feel like food is getting more expensive each year on campus. So even more incentive to bring a lunch with me every single day. So that's just where I keep my thermos and any, uh, any lunch utensils that I have. Next thing I got in here is my bullet journal. And for those of you who have been following me for a while, I have been bullet journaling for almost five years now. And yeah, this, I'm pretty much almost done this 2024 one because as of filming this, it's almost the end of 2024. I have my 2025 one. It's in this desk in one of the drawers somewhere, but I have that one all set up. So I'm gonna be switching that over when the new year comes. This is where I plan 
all of my tasks, all of the events that I have, and all of my homework assignments, exams, things I track, habits, blah, blah, finances, blah, blah, blah. This is pretty much my life in a book. So I love using it, and that's why it's my backpack. Next thing on here is my iPad Pro. This is the M1 version, just because I haven't felt a need to upgrade to the newer versions, just because this is such a good device, man. First of all, I take all my notes with this. I do all, most of my homework, or at least writing down most of my homework, I write it on my iPad. And it's so great for just all of the PDF stuff that I have to do in my electrical engineering degree, which is quite a lot. I love using it and I've used it so much as well. Oh my goodness. Next thing we got in here is just a folder to keep a bunch of paper in. I keep a bunch of loose leaf paper if I need it. I haven't had to use much loose leaf paper yet, but I do also use this to hold any exams that I, exams or quizzes that I get back from my classes. So they give it back. I just have a safe place to store it. And the last thing in this compartment is my laptop, which is the HP Spectre X360 14 for 2024. I really like using this laptop. My next video is going to be a review of this laptop, which I'm currently working on. So get subscribed so you don't miss that. But just some short thoughts about this. This is probably the only laptop that I've had, aside from my MacBook Pro, that I've had like zero, it like, basically zero issues with using. Like, yeah, it just works really well for me for my electrical engineering degree. Like I've been able to use it for all my MATLAB tasks or like my PCB design and then basically anything homework related as well. This has been able to handle all of it. I really enjoy using it and I'm so glad that I got it. So that's the laptop that I carry with me. That's everything in this main compartment right here. But now let's get into this smaller compartment up front. And the first thing we got on the side here is just a little 3D printed UBC Subbots logo, which is the engineering design team that I'm on. Make sure you guys join UBC Subbots if we open up recruitment. It's an amazing design team, been on it for a year and four months now. Love it. Let's get into what's inside this little pocket right here. First thing I got are my AirPods 3s. I love wearing these. These are great for just general listening, but I am thinking of getting the AirPods fours with noise cancelling soon just because I like the AirPods 3 design because I don't like AirPods Pros. I don't like how they fit in my ears but I like the AirPods 3 designs but I do want noise cancelling so we'll see if I do get that in I'll make sure to make a video about that. The next thing I got in here is my wallet, some breath mints, my keys with an air tag attached to it, and just some hand sanitizer in here as well. So that's pretty much everything that come that I carry with me every single day to campus as an electrical engineering student. For third year, we haven't had many tools or kits that we've had to use because most of the stuff we do is in the lab but I think we will be using a bit more of it next semester when I do my project course. And I think I will be designing a self-balancing scooter. Oh yeah, um, phone, wallet, keys. That's the things I need to check my pockets for every time I leave the house. Phone is currently my B-cam right now, which is right over there. It's the iPhone 16 Pro. And attached to my phone, I always carry this ESR MagSafe wallet, which is just a very slim card sleeve. I carry my student card, my credit card, and also my driver's license in here. Just keeps it very compact and I really like using it. It also can double as a stand for my phone, either in vertical or horizontal position, which I really like. And my car keys are downstairs right now, but they also have an air tag attached to it just so that I don't lose them. But yeah, looking at my table right now, this is all of the stuff that I carry with me as an electrical engineering student. Hopefully you guys get a better look at the tech that I carry with me so that you guys can get some ideas for what you want to carry for yourself and also just what I carry with me in general. So with that being said, gently tap the like button, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to be notified whenever I release a new video. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and a little sneak peek into my personal life and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.